Our team coverage now continues with CBS 46's Adam Murphy. And Adam, we know this attack was racially motivated in Buffalo. So how are black grocery store owners here reacting to the shooting? Well, good afternoon. I will tell you the store managers I've spoken with at the Big Bear supermarkets in Metro Atlanta tell me they realize something like this could have happened anywhere, including right here. Customers checked out more than just the deals at the Big Bear supermarket in Southwest Atlanta on Monday. Thank you. Most inside this minority owned store were on high alert in light of the mass shooting at a grocery store in Buffalo, New York over the weekend, which left 10 people dead. I thought about this store, it's our neighborhood store. And you know, we come in here and the lady said, you know, how she was walking in and saw someone and walked out and saw the body. And I thought how easy that could have been us and how, I don't even know if there's a back door here. It has to be a back door somewhere, but I wouldn't know which way to go. Management said the incident targeting another minority grocery store has prompted them to be more vigilant. Plus, they have police officers working security at their stores in the West End and in Decatur. When I heard that happens, I said, wow, you know, it couldn't happen anywhere and it couldn't be here. I felt afraid. Juliana Dorsett Smith said she shops at Big Bear for the savings, but always plays it safe. And I rock this as tight as it could go. And then I plug it in here like that. And if they go to, if they go to get in it, I feel the stores, all the stores now need to have security guards in there because those, the security guards, when you see them in stores, they're vigilant. And management and customers here at the Big Bear supermarket tell me they are praying for the families of those victims in Buffalo, New York. They also wanted to make it very clear this will not stop them from supporting their neighborhood grocery store. We're live in Atlanta's West End, Adam Murphy. CBS 46 News.